The era of the old pharaonic state was a really strange era. The kings of this state were characterized by construction work to a large degree. They built huge pyramids with a large amount of stones, to the point that their era was called the era built by the pyramids. Also this era was not limited to construction work, as there were strong kings such as King Djoser and King Sneferu, as well as King Oser Kaf, who were able to immortalize their name in the history books until now. After the end of the Third Dynasty, this dynasty, which revolutionized the funeral architecture, which completely changed the burial system when the ancient Egyptians, King Djoser built his pyramid, the Pyramid of Saqqara. This pyramid, which consisted of six terraces on top of each other so that the size of the terrace is smaller than the other until it is the pyramidal shape. After the departure of this king, it is said that the one who took over after him is King Honey. This king who gave birth to his daughter Hotep guards from his wife and gave birth to Sneferu from one of the maid servants. The marriage between Sneferu and Hotep Harris took place during the reign of Pharaoh Sneferu and thus King Sneferu had the full right to assume the throne after the departure of Ani with this marriage. It is strange to think that Hotep hairs as Sneferu's sister, but this is not strange in the ancient Egyptian faith, so this marriage was necessary to ensure the preservation of the throne, and it is not strange also in ancient times and was not limited to the pharaohs, but this custom was found in the Ptolemaic era when Cleopatra married her brother Ptolemy XIII to become the legitimate ruler of Egypt but this was forbidden in the monotheistic religions that were revealed later, starting with Judaism, Christianity and finally Islam. After King Sneferu took over the rule of Egypt, he made many reforms and changes, as this king encouraged the establishment of trade relations with neighboring countries, and among these countries is Phoenicia, which was famous at that time for cedar wood, which was used in the wood industries in Egypt. This behavior has strong relations with the state of Phoenicia and the Palermo stone mentioned that this king sent 40 ships to bring cedar, which were used in the work of doors and also used in construction work inside the pyramid, as well as used in the manufacture of ships to the extent that the number of ships manufactured reached 60 ships for each ship 16 paddles. Also, the work of King Sneferu was not limited to trade relations with neighboring countries, he prepared a strong army through which he was able to defeat the Nubians in many battles, who were always raiding the existing gold mines and famous for this land. But Sneferu succeeded in maintaining his authority over these lands. He also prepared a lot of military campaigns on the Sinai Bedouin because they were attacking the turquoise and gold mines in Sinai. So Sneferu disciplined them and inflicted defeat in many battles, he also strengthened his relationship with the Libo tribes that inhabited western Egypt and present-day Libya through numerous trade deals. The era of Sneferu was a really special era as this king succeeded in establishing a strong state militarily and economically, and this was reflected on the people who enjoyed the economy of this state, also the personality of Sneferu itself which was known as a merciful person who appreciates and respects his people, and there is clear evidence of that. In the era of Sneferu three pyramids were built. The first is the Maidan Pyramid and two pyramids in Dasher, the Red Pyramid and the Leaning Pyramid. These three pyramids with a total of 3.5 million pieces of limestone, compared to the Pyramid of Cheops, which he needed 2.5 million pieces of limestone. Yet he prepared places designated for engineers and workers and prepared all the food and clothes they need and also allowed them to take their families with them. So he did so by providing everything for the workers as evidence of this pharaoh's appreciation for his people. Unlike King Khufu, who found around his pyramid many of the bodies of the workers who participated in the construction of the pyramid, evidence of the dictatorship of Khufu and his lack of interest in the workers to the extent that some suggested that these workers were working on the rock, this is a clear difference and conclusive evidence of the extent to which King Sneferu is different from any of the rulers of the old state. The era of the old state was one of the strange eras in which the ruler enjoyed absolute power to the greatest extent, the king thought himself to be the mediator between God and the people as well, he thought himself to be the representative of God on earth, so he considered the people just his slaves, and no member of the people had the right to object to the king or even his decisions, so when a king like King Sneferu came completely different from all the rulers of the old state at this time, this happened unusual at all, 
and if it happened in the era of the middle state or even the modern, I would have believed it, but its occurrence in the era of the old state made it a really distinctive mark in this era, despite its huge construction work that exceeded any king of the old state, but he did not exploit the people to work in building its pyramids, and provided the workers with everything they need to complete this work to the fullest, and not only that, but also ensured the living and social stability of his people to the extent that the era of Smurf was the best era for a ruler of the old state.